If you need lots of animated characters in your 3D project, it is not always smart to rig and animate every vehicle every time. You see, nowadays you can use add-ons that can 10x your speed in this regard. Add-ons that can help you with ready and rigged vehicles, in addition to animation presets, animating traffic, and much more. Before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the super high market is going through its biggest sale of the year. So if you want to get some add-ons, texture packs, courses, you name it, it is the best time to do so. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. I want to tell you first about Launch Control, which is a really powerful car rigging and animation add-on that makes animated vehicles in Blender, I would say, a game changer. I mean, on the fly, you can rig a car using intuitive tags for wheels, in addition to the body and the brakes. Then it offers ready-made animation presets for stunts like drifts, jumps, loops, or simple path following. And I think this add-on stands out because it can simulate realistic physics, and it can do that in real time, by the way. So you can preview suspension tweaks, skids, and even collisions on the fly. And it also packs advanced extras, like automatic skid mark generation, volumetric headlight beams, which can be used for night drives. In addition to a jump trajectory calculation and the ability to export to game engines via Alembic, FBX, and USD, which can help you polish your workflow. And the latest version also brought some big improvements with a revamped speed control system called Speed Segments 2.0, in addition to support for NURBS and a performance boost, which, in other words, help you stay on top of your game. Another add on that is stupidly valuable is called RBC, or Rigid Body Cars. It is actually amazing because it brings real physics to Blender car rigs, making your vehicle animations feel weighty and dynamic, if you know what I mean. And you can actually feel it too. This add-on uses Blender's rigid body simulation and driver system under the hood, so cars can bounce over bumps and respond to forces with convincing realism. There is even a free version to rig just one car, downloaded by more than 40,000 people, or maybe something like that while the pro version, on the other hand, unlocks unlimited rigs and more advanced tools, like different preset rig types, which you can use for custom and quick setups, in addition to extensive tuning options and an integrated collision panel for crash effects. RBC also includes handy features, like an asset browser with pre-rigged vehicles and object guides that let you drive cars along curves or auto-follow paths, complete with reverse and brake controls, by the way, without any complex animation steps. And the Pro Edition even packs an effects panel for extra touches, things like tire smoke or dust trails. And the developers keeps it up to date with new features and tools that you might find really useful. iCars, on the other hand, is a newcomer on the block, and it packs everything you need to animate cars and traffic, and you can do that with minimal effort, by the way. It ships with 18 fully rigged vehicles, each one provided with high-poly and low-poly versions, and it even lets you plug in your own car models without any manual rigging, because they will be instantly hooked to the system for animation. I believe some of the standout features include a path curve control tool for easily steering cars along drone routes, and an auto-drift mode for effortless power slides, especially around corners. And here is a good one. There is a ghost preview, or an onion skinning feature position to fine-tune timing, in addition to a fun free drive mode that lets you control a car with your keyboard and you can do that in real time. On top of that, the add-on can fill an entire scene with traffic if you want to do that. Just add a traffic system, and it will actually spawn intelligent vehicles that follow realistic rules, like avoiding collisions and creating dynamic flows. It even syncs up with the iCity add-on, which was created by the same developer, which helps you navigate procedural roads in addition to intersections automatically. There is a similar add-on called Procedural Traffic, and this one is a Geometry Nodes add-on that generates traffic in maybe just a few seconds. Generally speaking, it is great when you need to fill a highway or maybe a city with moving cars, without painstaking manual setup, you know. In fact, it can animate and spawn 400 vehicles in under a minute, I believe, and it can hold a decent frame rate by using proxy models for faraway cars. The system actually doesn't allow the cars to collide, that is, with each other, you know, to stay in lane and keep the distance, which lets you tweak traffic behavior and maybe randomize things to your liking. It also comes with a library of detailed and rigged cars, 
where each vehicle gets a unique look, and the developer was able to do that using procedural materials and random paint colors and some tricks, like individualized dirt, splashes and scratches for extra realism. Not to mention that the collection hopefully keeps growing, with 4 new car models released every month. Now we're gonna talk about something a bit different. Car transportation is less about complex physics, and I would say it is about giving you an enormous library, which has ready-to-use vehicles and environment assets. This add-on has been around for a long time, and it comes with 78 different vehicles, covering everything from sport cars, sedans and SUVs, to motorcycles, trucks, boats and even airplanes. And to be fair, they are neatly rigged and optimized, which is gonna save you a lot of time. The interface makes it easy to drop a vehicle into the scene, and then you can instantly recolor it using the provided car paint shaders to create your own paint job with the built-in editor. And to help you set up the scene, the add-on also includes 65 HDRI lighting environments and over 300 high-quality backplate images, so you can place your cars in a realistic background and get a photorealistic render in just seconds. Traffic is another vehicle library, but it also brings automation to your scenes. How does it do that? Well, it offers a huge selection of over 300 realistic and optimized assets, covering all sorts of vehicles and traffic props. The Anna lets you spawn assets easily via Blender's Asset Browser or Polygonic's own browser. And once a vehicle is in your scene, you can quickly customize it, which gives you a lot of options. For example, you can change the car's color with a slick paint shader, or maybe dial in dirt and scratches using the wear and tear sliders, or toggle the headlights and emergency lights with just a few clicks. The Anna's vehicles come in with pre-made rigging and wheels, in addition to simple controls, so you can actually animate them driving along a path or terrain. You can set their velocity, have them follow a curve, and they even snap to the ground automatically. So generally speaking, you can use them to bring streets to life, without having to mention the traffic assets, which help you a lot. There is even a road generator, which I think is a bonus. So in a nutshell, it makes laying out roads and highways in addition to intersections incredibly easy. In other words, it auto-builds connections and different road types, so your cars have a network to drive on. Last but not least, I want to mention Vehicle Rigging Factory Plus, which is another rig building toolkit that helps you to rig virtually any kind of vehicle on your own terms. And it works like a modular system. You can add or remove rig components as needed, which means it handles everything from standard cars to unconventional rigs for bikes, trucks that have trailers, trains, or even tanks with track wheels. So as you can see, the add-on introduces clever solutions for common vehicle rigging headaches. For example, it can simulate flat tires, rig realistic tank treads, attach or detach wagon trailers, and it can do that on the fly by the way, and it makes use of a new constraint type for stability and control. You can also automatically set up a smooth motion path, which you can use for vehicles to follow, and it also can handle ground contact and suspension, and it can do that with a single unified control, and it even makes a train of wagons follow and turn along a track curve. I also forgot to mention that this add-on is designed with cartoon and stylized vehicles in mind, so it offers features like auto IK wheels that can dynamically squat and lift the car body, in addition to a dynamic pivot system for exaggerated tilts and other tricks for animating cartoon cars. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.